Hi, this is Anu Pyadav and uh, let's talk about a landmark decision of Supreme Court with respect to scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and their application to benefits or affirmative action under this constitution, under the constitution of India. So on uh, last Thursday, the Supreme Court had decided in a 6 is to 1 majority that uh, scheduled castes and scheduled tribes would not be considered as one homogeneous group for the purposes of uh, benefits and uh, states are constitutionally empowered to subclassify this group into multiple groups for the purposes of uh, affirmative action. However, not everyone has taken uh, this decision of the Supreme Court uh, with uh, good intention and uh, the BSP, the Bahujan Samaj Party chief and uh, former Uttar Pradesh chief minister Mayavati ji, she is not happy with this particular decision. She has further asked parties like BJP and Congress to bring a legislation in the parliament and overturn this particular decision of the Supreme Court. However, uh, if you ask me, then I would say that uh, I am uh, in favor of this particular decision to a certain extent because subclassifying SCs and STs was uh, very much indeed needed because uh, we have seen that over the years from 1951 onwards, some families, some groups within SCs and STs, they are continuously availing the benefits of affirmative action, the benefits of reservation and it is these families, these very groups that have, uh, that have filled all the posts in governments and departments and a vast majority, I would say more than 90% of uh, the population of SCs and STs, they are not availing the benefits of reservation and are still not socially and educationally lifted in the Indian society. However, uh, Right now, the Supreme Court has said that uh, economic criteria is not to be the reason for a uh, subclassification of SCs and STs into multiple groups. The state has to find out uh, other reasonable and quantifiable measures upon which the subclassification would take place. I mean, um, uh, this particular uh, parameter, this uh, this exclusion of economic parameter as uh, a basis for subclassification, I think this is not a step in the right direction. Because if you ask me, I mean, I would give you, I mean, I would give you a corollary from OBCs. So, OBCs has this uh, uh, creamy layer criteria. I mean, a similar criteria would be of wonders if it had been if it had been applicable to the SCs and STs as well. And I'm saying so because you see, uh, let's consider one subgroup uh, that is uh, classified by the states according uh, according to this particular decision of the Supreme Court. However, we have seen that only a few families of uh, a subgroup they have been availing the benefits of reservation all these years, and a large part of even this small subgroup. It would not have uh, it would not have availed the benefits of reservation. Yeah, it's true that if you look into government departments, ministries, then uh, the representation from that particular community would be there because one family has been availing the benefits of reservation years after year and they are filling up the post. So this particular subgroup has a representation in the governments and ministries. However, uh, the benefits are uh, availed by just one family. The majority of that uh, group's population has not even availed these benefits once. So that is why this particular uh, uh, I mean, that, so that is why an economic criteria would have been better suited to the need. I mean, in OBC, it is doing wonders. And that is why I think uh, this is where a further correction needs to be made. And yeah, I mean, uh, there are other factors that need to be considered in. But economic criteria, this is also a prominent factor that needs to be considered in before subclassifying, before subclassifying STs and STs. So this is my take on this particular issue and uh, if you have any comments with my view and if you want to point out your own view then do mention in the comment section and uh, do subscribe, like and share my videos. Thank you for watching.